this book, God for the Plex, which, as I said, I know well, it begins with a foreword by Harmony Korine. Yes. And I can't help but read this because I want to ask you. It says, Werner Herzog hates chickens. This is a fact. This is a consistent theme throughout his films. It is clear to me that he hates chickens, and this is one of the reasons why he has always been one of my favorite directors. I, too, hate chickens. <laughs> I've never I've, known you to hate chickens, so no, no, I had to ask. No, no, no. It's, um, no, it's something different. I, they, they frighten me because the flatness of their... Uh, when when you look at the head of a chicken, it's very very narrow in yeah. the eye here, in the eye there. That narrow, the kind of stupidity looking at yeah. you. Yes, and it's overwhelming and it's kind of frightening. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I have had many chicken in my uh, in my movies, like the end of uh, Stroshek, which is about dancing chicken, mm -hmm. and it's somehow the best maybe the best and craziest that I ever filmed, <laughs> dancing chicken that nobody can stop anymore. <laughs> Not even police uh, can stop the dancing chicken in their cage, actually in Cherokee, North Carolina, filmed. And I had chicken in very special training to dance longer than they normally would do for, oh, really? for the tourists, do the barn shuffle dance. And um, you see hypnotized chicken in my movies, in some of my movies. You can actually hypnotize him if you put the beak on the ground and then with a piece of chalk draw a, a very fast straight line from them. They stay like that, hypnotized uh, 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 oh, and really? stare oh, at the straight line. Ah. You can hypnotize chicken. You could do it. Even I could do it. <laughs> yeah. No, I do not hate them. I, and and by the way, I I like to eat them once in a in a while. A real good roasted chicken on your barbecue is priceless. <laughs> they somehow reconcile me with their stupidity.